reason there's all that urgency is he is 37 years Champion of the world, Mario El Azteca Barrio. 54 milagros, Jordanis Ugas. At all times, listen to my commands. Touch him up. Back to your corner, John. Division Ugas wants to prove he's still an elite fight. His signature victory. Which makes for, you know, usually interesting fights. Yeah, and he says that he's a side punching. Uh, he's got great body work. Let's see if he does it in this fight. Learned to fight on the inside when he was only 5'6", short right hand on the inside, and he's utilized the jab. Being the smaller guy, but he's got the reach advantage. But again, the guy that likes to fight him. He had his skill set that he created. Yes. Uh, and great way to get in the inside for Muga, jabbing his way in. Good. Loving to use beautiful straight right hand to the body. Collaboration would be helpful to him. Of course, Ugas was an Olympic medal. My style is better suited for the pros. And while we not open his eye for 40 hours after the Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Vegas. I think he should take some risks early in this fight. Some calculus. He wants to punch in combat. Looking to assert themselves in what is the glamour. Pazoo got stripped. Move it off back. Jamal, Jamal Charlo moves up two weight classes to oh. challenge. I want to keep doing that, but again, no, it, you don't see any. We haven't seen from Barrios this year. It's heartless as a. And that's one thing that. Double jab from the bar. Throw that punch. And you know, against a 37-year-old. Jab again from Barrios to the top of Ugas head. Over 12 knockouts in his 27 career fight. Coming off the win over Giovanni Santiago. And in your keys to victory, uh, out of Ugas. But right now, he's just trying to stay in the inside. Seven. Eight. You all right? Come here. Mario Barrios drops. Yo, Denny Suko. Pero bueno. He just stayed it. All right? You're putting himself in that position. There it is, the jab from Barrios. About him needing to use the jab and taking some risks. Just up. Delorme, he was also <laughs> dropped by Emmanuel Robles. Hit the deck and a surprising turn of events at the... Comes back more aggressively now to start. And Ugas, immediately Barrios' confidence has grown exponentially. Already on the verge of, you know, he was closing the gap. Yeah. Little by Ugas momentarily changes left. Good counter left hook to Barrios. Still good warrior, but man, that body shot would hurt anyone, gentlemen. Stop, 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 stop. That body. Don't force it, though. Anything but wants him to continue to. Single shot and backed up Bugas. Yeah, it's interesting. And you know, Ugas had success to the body. Some upper body movement showing defense can weave. Utilizing some lateral moves. Right uppercut, right hand by Barrio. So. And sometimes when you watch Mario Barrio, he, he no, no, is no. such a. Left hook by Ugas. Nice. Shit. Final minute of the fourth to be an effective weapon here in the fourth. The and on top. Another look at it. The left hook sails by, and we're going to see it here. Countering the left hook. Jab, he's thrown 156. The jab. No, he is not. And one of them, of course, true. Have Troy continue to counter if you're Ugas. You know, we've got to do something to take away the, the jab because, again. Nice. Leo Barrios. Another double. This is a really interesting fight. You could see. Barrio's jab proving to be effective while Ugas losses by split decision. Uh, so fifth. And Ugas landing is to do that because uh, you heard Barrio's. Uh... Barrio's pops the jab. There's new levels. There's a right hand by. There's, but he's got to follow it up. He's got to continue. He's got... He can't afford to be that low in volume. Leo Barrio's. Many ways, maybe already surpassed him. Oh, it's Ugas for you, Abby.
obviously, and and Barrios throwed your Barrios. He wanted to step on the gas hook. Yeah, is there from his trainer. And with the momentum back uh, in this fight. So, yeah, beautiful. 17 months ago, and that was a, those were the questions. Come. And already facing adversary in this fight. Advers Over the course of this fight, we'll see. Five punches, landed five. Barrios is throwing to us offense. Needed here in this speed. But in volume. Part that does that, you know, one shot here, one shot there. Again, jab, left hook upstairs, but then he's the right hand. Barrios uh, taking that overhand right, you know, set up by a jab and then a kind of a, a beginning of the round, uh, the nice right hand by him. Seven. Donna's book with that jab to the body, followed immediately. Yeah. Well, he's off the back foot. He's been using the jab as will scorer Steve Farhood. Steve on everything he said. That's true. 66, I think this one will be won over the second half of the fight. You no, know, still trying, and he's still dangerous with that overhand right. He has to come in, and, you know, he stops him in his tracks. Bart is fighting really cautious right now. I don't know how much of a factor it's going to be, but you can feel this right hand upstairs by Ugas. That really is. Uh, you, yeah. if you want to continue. To oh. it becomes a factor as this fight wears on. Pitchers at 147. Uh, and so Throw, throwing single jab, and now he's doubling up. That, that's it's not enough for him. Oh. Ugas <laughs> misses with the over. Yeah. Yeah, stay away from that uh, on that side. And Ugas start the eighth round here at T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. And, and he does it at times, Vargas, and he's really effective with it. Teddy Green's going uh, the 12 round distance. Beats a pin by split. The yeah. So he's been in. And continues to eat the jacks. Vargas digs it uh, to, to the body, but, you know, Vargas oh. turns it over to him. I mean, uh, the intentions obviously for Vargas is to let. 60 home runs in this season. Ugas was looking for a, a big time home run. Oh, left hook, right hand by. Very good. I mean, now true follows pop culture. I know a lot of it. Wow. Man, who got this really looking? You got to go to. About to turn 38. He wants his or the energy and resolve from the veteran. From He's a good body puncher. And this would be great. Has a big edge in total number of punches. You know, we didn't want him to throw single shots, and he's not. He, uh, capitalize on that. Uh, getting a little bit frustrated. Of, of uh, Mario Barros right now. And we've seen the jab. We've seen the hook. And there's Ugas with the right hand. That and your Dennis at his best, he would be busier than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good point, Mario. That's really true. That's averaging 50 punches around when you look at that man. Mm. He's been moving really well. Nice. We go to round 10. He looks so good, son. Good boxing. Keep the looking we take a look at it again. There he goes downstairs, and then right he away there's a the right upper. And throw, excellent combination. There he goes downstairs, partially... Before the start of round 10. Wow. Exacerbated now. He had problems. His eye begins to close about eye injuries, my friend. Yeah, most definitely too detached right now. Dominating all these rounds or even and, a knockout. And Abner, unfortunately, you know all too well. Pull the, pull the plug. You might want to stop this fight again. It's it's his eye. His, it's, you know, among his wins, uh, less than 33%. A lot more than, than, you know, what he's trying to throw in. And I, he's a, a very well-liked, respected friends here in Las Vegas. So many people are rooting for Decision to keep Thurman. Came back. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. It's here. In between rounds. Ugas fighting for his life. No, 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 no problem. Okay, no problem. And round 11 begins in this schedule. 12. Man, beautiful. He's doing a beautiful a ja a ja job of you know, boxing. The seconds. Of he has a future and it's going to be very interesting to see. 18 months of a career. He's almost 40. He had surgery. Couldn't right, but for what? I mean, he's only getting hit a lot more. Get him up. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
He looks like he has hurt. 20 seconds left. The heart, the guy, but then gets hit again, and he looks... Single digits in each of the last six rounds. Telling, uh, telling statistic, and um, we'll see this uh, second half of the fight. Uh, six, seven, eight, look at me. Come here. Barrios was looking for a signature win at 147. Jab goes down here in the 12th of the left hook. Left hook to the face. Ugas desperately. It's a mouthpiece. I can't remember a fight where you want a minute and five. And yet Mario Barrios on the cusp. Back with Bob Sugas valiantly trying to fight back. It's here for Mario Barrios. Best right hand of the fight. Overhand right, but man. Mario Barrios. Yeah, that. Seven. All three in favor of the winner of the interim WBC Welterweight Championship, Mario El Azteca.